you're the type of person that never admits you've sinned or you don't have an issue and you're wrong, you're a liar and the truth is not in you. Everybody has problems, everybody has issues. Be honest with yourself and be honest with God. If you can't be honest with God or Jesus, who can you be honest with? I mean, let's just be real. Who can you be honest with? Sorry, I'm going to get a closer look at my face. I won't be far away. Be shy or whatever, but be camera shy. But basically, like, who can you honestly be honest with? Who can you honestly be honest with if you can't be honest with God? You're just, you're no different. You would be no different than Adam and Adam and Eve in the garden. You're trying to cover yourself up with fig leaves. And God sees right through you. So what's the point? Too many people like to cover themselves up with fig leaves. Especially now. Like, really, it's a joke, bro. Take away, burn those fig leaves and face God. And be real with Him. Be so, so real with Him. He sees right through you. Talk to Him, you know? He's real and He know He wants to have a relationship with you. Talk to Him. I think sometimes with me, I'm just really hard on myself, but at the same time, you know, I'm still trying to get past things in my life. And my God, it just feels so hard. It does. And that's what someone even like me causes people to turn to different things, you know, alcohol, drinking, all this stuff, you know. Like, they know the Lord, but at the same time, they deal with things. You know? <clears throat> like, there's even a pastor I know named Jeff Durbin. Um, and people say, oh, well, MMA or karate or fighting is wrong and, and, and evokes demons and everything. But he still fights. And he still does that stuff. I don't know how much he does now, but... Basically, like, we all... We all deal with things in this life. But we can't be afraid to face the things that we face, most of all. We are our worst enemies, honestly. And honest to God, honest, my hand on the stack of Bible, we are honestly our worst enemies, no matter what. We are, it's not people, it's us. We are literally our worst beings, our worst enemies. You just got to learn to face up, face your fears, face yourself. I keep saying, I've always said, nobody likes a mirror because the Bible is a mirror and it holds you up to our standards, holds you up to God's standards, um, holds you accountable. That is the mirror. It's the accountability that nobody likes, nobody wants. I mean, let's just be real about it. Let's be real. Let's be straight up. Nobody wants to be accountable for anything in this life. All the evil, wicked stuff that goes on in this world. Even in Hollywood and all these other places. Sacrificing children. And you don't want to fess up to it. You're going to face, you're going to face a holy God. That's just the way it is. People can lie. People can mock. They can do whatever. <clears throat> the reason that Christians face persecution is because we go through the, we're going through the same thing that Jesus went through. And honest to God, we should. We should feel what our Savior went through. We should feel it all. Even if we were to get shot, stabbed, killed, well, I mean, just whatever. You know? Let's just be real. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm not going to say any more. Um, I've said enough right now. But, um, God, I'm all over the place now. I'm sorry. Um. Um, just know that God loves you and he cares for you. Um, don't run from things. Face them head on. Face them, face them head on. Don't ever run from things because it only hurts you more in the end. So, God bless, God bless, God bless. Amen, amen, amen. And this, man, this morning's really heating up. Godspeed.